Tonight's opening face-off brought to you by Simpson Chevrolet. The referees are Kevin Pollock, loved him in the usual suspects, and Mitch Dunning. The linesmen are Matt McPherson and Julian Fournier. We are underway and glad to have you along on a Wednesday night. They've got a real good power play this season. It has been carrying them at times, so discipline is going to play a huge role in the outcome tonight. Interesting to see how the Ducks' new line combinations affect the offense. They've been able to find quite a bit of it on the road. Opportunity I was just talking about. It comes off of a offensive zone faceoff. And Clayton Keller is so elusive, just throws it towards the net. And you Coyotes coming off an 8-1 shellacking of Chicago at home on Monday. They are riding high. A lot of players had big point nights in that game. Puck rimmed around the boards. Terry seals the wall, brings it in, lets it go. He scores! Troy Terry on the power play. The Ducks break the ice. Boy, this comes out of nothing. And, and you know the whole key here, it's a self-chip by Minchikov on the entry into the zone. Here's Minchikov, here's the chip, and he follows it up, and here's the pressure. So the Coyotes react to that pressure. Hard rim. Troy Terry's got space. He says, thanks very much. He'll take it. And he just rips it up top, short side, over top of the blocker. What a perfect shot by Troy Terry. Anaheim had nothing going on. And then Anaheim will have a minute and 39 of power play time. Dumba bumped. Oh, nice play by Mitnikoff, who took him out of the play and took the puck back. Now three on two. Here come the Ducks. Drop pass to Fowler. Back to Mitnikoff. Oh, hit the goal post. Rebound. Score! Terry has his second of the night. I thought Mignikov initially scored, but good on Troy Terry who stayed with it. It's 2-0. It starts with him making an unbelievable defensive play. Gets a great angle, and look at him turn it up. Realize that Dumba had dropped a stick. Not only does he drop the puck, but he continues going towards the net. He hits the pipe. Terry mops it up for his second of the game, but... I tell you what, Pavel Michikov, what a beautiful play by him, and good on Troy Terry. Michael Carconi didn't even chase that pass. He just headed back to the Arizona bench. Carconi had a hat trick on Monday against the Blackhawks. Fowler collects behind his own net and is met by Lawson Krause. Moser moves it to the top of the zone, gets it back right in front. Great pass, and Krause is there to put... The Desert Dogs on the board. Big winger for the Coyotes. Big, powerful kid. Watch this puck goes off a skate, but boy, Moser does a great job of taking that puck off the skate right there and then tapping it across to Lawson Krause for the one-timer. And Lacombe gloves it down and moves it up. McTavish contested and has it taken away there. Good play by Moser. Dersey. Indirectly moves it ahead. Didn't connect with Cooley, but here he is now behind the defense. Logan Cooley scores! First NHL goal for Logan Cooley. And the Coyotes have answered. It's tied at two. Good puck movement. Moser again makes the play. Cooley does a good job of protecting that puck from Jackson Lacombe. See him stick that left leg out. The Coyotes have now scored nine first period goals in their last three games combined. This is a team that coming into tonight's game is averaging just under three and a half goals a game. Here's Bakken nine and getting one right into the goal crease popped up in the air. Silverberg had a poke at it. And Vamelka will smother while we hear this from Hyundai. Now it's Schmaltz and Keller into the Anaheim zone, disrupted at the blue line and out as Vetrano gets it ahead. Here's Bo Grew shorthanded. Blocker saved Bamelka. In a penalty killing role and Bo Grew back into the lineup. And now it's the Coyotes' turn to get to all these loose pucks. Michelli hands it off. Valamaki peels back at the top of the circle. Again, Michelli trying to penetrate the middle of the ice. Forced wide by Bakanainen in front. And they score! Lawson Krause again! The big body spins off of his check and backhands it up top. The Coyotes have a 3-2 lead. Gudis was not happy. Watch the front of the net. Krause and Gudis. There's the cross check that knocks Gudis down to the ice and no call on the play.
And there's no way that he can get to that rebound as a result. And he's going to be a great ad. Uh, you know, to get a veteran player who can, you know, help your power play, help your penalty kill, be a physical force, all of those attributes and, and some leadership as well, Kalorn will bring to the table. Looks over at Troy Terry, has it knocked off his stick, and look out, cookout. Alexander Kerfoot shorthanded. Comes in, Dostal makes the save. And on the back check, and applies pressure to Kerfoot. And that makes life easier for the goaltender. Face off to the right of Karel Vomelka. And Cooley off the glass, but not out. Steered over, Gudis rolling puck right on. Rebound. Shoveled on then on the backhand by Carlson. Got his own rebound back. Terry scores! Carlson in front along with Jones. And this game is tied. Who will come out here and have controlled play to begin this third period. There's the shot. Yeah, it's off the shaft of the stick of Leo Carlson. Off the defenseman, off the shaft of the stick. It's a double deflection, and it's perfect. Up into the top corner. So for Leo, his third of the season in just his sixth game. And the Ducks have tied things up. As McTavish and Zegras get the puck back in the Arizona zone. And McTavish, a little too fancy. A drop pass in the high slot intended for Vetrano. Now Keller the other way, hands it off. Barrett Hayden robbed by the left pad of Dostal. Playing well. Not only do you make good stops, like this one on Barrett Hayden, it also seems sometimes you get the breaks too. There's a left leg extended across. Stetcher throws it to the middle of the ice. Here's Schmaltz. Trying to go short side. Dostal said no. Another pick down low. Schwartz hits, or Schmaltz hits the post. Ducks all tied up. Nobody can get a stick free to play it. Here's the break I was referencing. A Schmaltz spun, and he just whipped that high block. Keller's pass off the skate of Silverberg. Zegris gets it to the line. Dermott kept it in. A rolling puck that's blocked. Stetcher keeps it up the boards. That'll do it. The horn sounds. Kind of a yogiism, if you will, but you know the er the early season games mean as much as the late season games. So the Ducks win the all important face off to begin overtime. Terry with Mintyakov out there and Carlson. Keller gets the puck back and now circles high with Schmaltz. Back to Keller. Looking for a shooting lane. Blocked by Leo Carlson. Loose puck in the corner. Schmaltz ran into the referee. Mitnikoff plays it around. Carlson ahead. Break away for Troy Terry. Oh! Tried to go five hole. Vamelka stopped him. What a stop. Three on three. Here he comes. Cuts in front. Puck check to stall. Go. They had a the man advantage here. Got to go. McTavish go. now turns it into a two-on-one with Terry. Mason McTavish to Terry. Stop!